who beat me? An elderly Asian woman cried after being attacked by a white man in San Francisco on March 17th. However, that was not the only incident. Just one day earlier, three shootings occurred in Atlanta, resulting in eight deaths, including six Asian women. Massive protests against violence and hatred against Asian Americans have erupted in New York, Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and other places. Asian Americans reported nearly 3,800 hate-related incidents from March 19, 2020 to February 28, 2021, according to a report released by Stop AAPI Hate, a non-profit coalition tracking incidents of violence, discrimination and harassment. These incidents range from shunning to verbal abuses or physical assaults because of their ethnicity. Women and the elderly are the main targets of these attacks. In the past year, especially since COVID started, I have been yelled at at least four times in the past, um, not even a year yet. And that really harmed me, especially um, I remember it was one time when I was walking back from my office to my apartment. I was passing through um, Times Square and he came to me, he walked straight up to me and he was like, why are you still here? Why don't you go back to China? Go back to your coronavirus. There is no question Trump's rhetoric regarding COVID-19 worsened anti-Asian sentiment. You know, I, I think there's no question that uh, some of the damaging rhetoric uh, that we saw uh, during the prior administration, calling COVID, uh, you know, the Wuhan virus, led to, um, you know, um, perceptions of the Asian American community that are inaccurate, unfair, has elevated threats against uh, Asian Americans. But is the pandemic the only reason in fact, racial discrimination in the United States has had a long history. Since the first batch of Asian immigrants came to the United States in the 1850s, Asian Americans have been suffering from white supremacy racism. Today, with the changes in the U.S. structure of population, the hatred towards Asian Americans is still prominent. From in history, there is a theory of yellow peril in the United States during the late 19th century and the early 20th century. At a time, many Chinese immigrants from Guangdong province, as well as Japanese immigrants, went to California to find gold. The rise in hatred for Asian Americans was also somewhat influenced by stereotypes in American culture. From the different films we w we have watched over the past years, a lot of these stereotyped um, hypersexualized narratives has led to the recent sexual objectifications and violence, to my belief. In the Atlanta shooting case, a local police officer's remarks brought about widespread criticism because he appears to indicate that the suspect was not motivated by racism. Um, he claims that these, and as the chief said, we know this is still early, but he does claim that it was not racially motivated. But the captain was found having posted a picture to promote a t-shirt with obvious racism. The law of hate crimes in the U.S. can be traced back to the Civil Rights Act of 1968, which stipulates that it is a crime to attack or threaten others based on race, color, religion or nationality. But in attacks against Asians, it may be particularly difficult to prove racist motives. Many Asian crime victims are small businesses owners who have been robbed, which complicates the issue of motivation. 
Meanwhile, victims themselves often did not report these crimes. In the 2007 to 2011 hate crime survey, 24% of people said they did not submit a report because they believed that the police could not or would not provide help. The surge in hate crimes against Asians has caused fear in the Asian community, and some are buying guns to protect themselves. Poway weapons and gear in California saw a 20% increase in Asian Americans' first-time buyers over the past year compared with the year before that, said Daniel James, the store's general manager. A lot of these violent events have got, got me to rethink a lot about what could have we done to support our community to prevent these things from happening. But the answer is no, like there's nothing that we can do to have stopped these people from, you know, acting so violently. There may be a light at the end of the tunnel for the pandemic, but how about the hatred for Asian Americans?